Hello and welcome to Wolfman Gaming. This is my Spider-Man The City That Never Sleeps DLC Blind Playthrough. And in the last episode we completed the main story of Turf Wars. <laughs> Only completed 65% of the entire DLC but it seemed to be mostly Magia Warehouses and Screwball Challenges. And uh, no, <laughs> we've had enough of those. So we're going to head into Silver Lining. I'm just going to read through the info here real quick. The City That Never Sleeps, Episode 3, Silver Lining. Silver Sable returns to take back what's hers in the exciting resolution of The City That Never Sleeps. So let's head in. Switch campaign. If you switch campaign, you will lose all progress since the last checkpoint. Yeah, well... I didn't do any progress past the last checkpoint <laughs> in Turf War, so I don't feel that there will be any great losses. And here, once again, we're just staring at a black loading screen. Why can't they always have at least Spider-Man in some kind of superhero pose with more or less useful tips? That is a bit of a flaw, I think, because that would be a lot more interesting to watch than Watson, just a black screen. Editor. Begin research notes. What started as a museum heist a few days ago has turned into a brutal assault on the city, and the casualties keep piling up. Last night, after almost killing Magia Don Hammerhead, Captain Yuri Watanabe was forced into administrative leave. Sources say she told the chief, this won't stop me. Note, follow up on this later. Feels like this isn't the end of her story. Meanwhile, Hammerhead, who was pronounced dead at the scene, was revived and escaped custody. Police are searching for him, but there are no solid leads. His men are continuing to target Sable weaponry and vehicles, including something called Project Olympus. From what we can gather, Project Olympus is an Oscorp and Sable-funded initiative. Bio-enhancement technology meant to transform people into indestructible super-soldiers. Hammerhead is ruthless and insane, and now apparently indestructible. <sighs> but first things first, figure out where Hammerhead is hiding. The question is, what are we going to do when we find him? Kick his ass. <laughs> That's what we're going to do, just like we did the last time we faced off against him. Hey, MJ. I'm and we're back in, in the city. <laughs> just swinging. Like Hammerhead's guys are at it again. Got any updates on Yuri? And uh, yes, sir, don't you? something yeah. that is quite interesting, I don't think I mentioned that I mean, in the last episode, you, but, but when Hammerhead was in the ambulance and his friend revived him with the taser thingy, something I was told by an acquaintance of mine, or actually it was her boyfriend who told me, he was an old friend and colleague, and she works uh, in healthcare. That when it comes to defib defibrillating Silver bodies, a, defrib <laughs> a defibrillator is used to stop heart arrhythmia. Like when your heart starts beating out of its rhythm, it starts to flicker or whatever it's called. The defibrillator is supposed to stop that to get your heart back on its usual rhythm. If you use a defibrillator on a person that is deceased, you're just shooting electricity into a corpse. It has no effect at all. <laughs> but since this is a video game, of course it works. Why wouldn't it? And it feels a bit bittersweet actually to go into Silver Lining because this is the last part of the DLC. Oh my god, that's a big boy. <laughs> and I've spent so much time with Spider-Man, so it's gonna be a little bit sad to say bye. But also, in a sense, it's fun because then we can oops, <laughs> move on to new projects. Ow. One thing I am not gonna miss, at least, are the rocket launcher guys. Come here. 
because those guys, especially in these DLCs, are way too much into the job. Yeah. I'm starting to think that I need some help. Uh, I need to check my controller. Because it almost feels like it's starting to eat inputs. And I don't think it's the game. Because throughout all the hours I have spent playing this. The controls have been, most times, not all the time, but most of the time, they have been super responsive. But my circle button seems like it is not as responsive at, as it's supposed to be. And I do hope it's just maybe that it needs a little bit of cleaning or something because I am using the Razer Raiju Pro Controller and anyone who is a regular viewer of my videos knows that uh, this is actually the third one I had because my first one if anyone who's new I'm gonna run through this story once more I got a Razer Raiju for my birthday few years back and my first one broke after three months I think it was well, maybe it was six months can't remember which either way it broke down the circle button and the X button just broke like they were worn out after three months use a controller that cost 150 bucks so I went back to where my girlfriend had bought it and changed it for a new one it went off the warranty no problems there got my new one and it broke down <laughs> three months later then it was the R2 button that just decided to die the spring in it was completely worn out and it was so worn out if I tilted the control upwards, so the R2 button was facing up, it would register a button press. That's how worn out the spring was. But this one, my third one, I've had this for like two or three years now. And it has been working beautifully throughout the entire span, so I guess I got two Monday copies, as you call it in Sweden. Like, the guy that is working with a hangover, been out drinking tequila, eating chili dogs all weekend, comes into work, and his work ethics are just fucked. So, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna check the, or try it with other games as well, just see, so... It isn't worn out, then maybe I'll have to buy a new controller. Come on, Spider-Man! Let's play save the pigs. What? Well, that's just rude. <laughs> <laughs> and I apologize in advance if I speak a bit faster than usual today. Because I have had a lot of coffee. <laughs> A little while back, I signed up for a coffee subscription because there is a chain of cafes that I am not going to mention by name since I am not endorsed by them. <laughs> but they have a subscription so I can go and get free coffee. One big cup of coffee every hour, every day of every week. And being an enthusiastic coffee drinker, I really enjoy my subscription. <laughs> but I was out this morning running some errands and uh, the thing is I was out for a little bit more than an hour and the first thing I did when I got to one of those or got into the vicinity of one of those cafes was pick up a cup of coffee. 
And then I made sure to be out for more than 60 minutes so I could pick up another one before heading home. And two big cups of coffee within the time of two hours. I'm feeling a little bit wired. <laughs> you know, when your hands are slightly shaking due to all the caffeine. But hopefully, <laughs> it will not affect my performance here playing and talking to you, dear viewer, at the same time. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Come closer! I dare you! Now, is that just a regular dare or a double dog dare? <laughs> oh, shit. Is that yours? No? But it would be so awesome if it was. Hell yes. Silver Sable! She no looks see. a bit upset. Who do you work for? <laughs> he works for Hammerhead. Where is this Hammerhead? Whoa, whoa! Can't we like go grab a coffee and catch up like normal people? Yes. By the way, more coffee. I love your new hovercraft. I need more coffee. <laughs> Tell me everything you know. I talk a lot better without a gun in my face. You have three seconds. Just put the guns down. One. We really gonna do this? Two, six, nine, eleven, seven, three. <laughs> I feel sometimes Spider-Man really doesn't know when to shut up. Sable, you seem a little stressed. Can we do some relaxing breaths? Mm. In, out, in, out. Tell me where to find Hammerhead. I wish I knew. But if we stop punching each other, maybe we can work together. Together? Never. Wow. What did I do wrong here? Wait, have you been listening to Jameson's podcast? Shit. You are supposed to be the protector of this city. And yet you have allowed this hammerhead to steal all of This feels a bit supplies. like in Uncharted 4 when <laughs> you're trying to fight against Nadine, the leader of uh, what's it called? The bad guys. They're called something dramatic. Well, Nadine kicks the ass of both Nate and Sam at the same time. <laughs> And kill Hammerhead. I'm stuck. Me. Okay. We need to focus. I was hoping I could no. Maybe like throw a freight pallet on her. But Okay. In the words of Deadpool, maximum effort. Is this maybe one of those fights you can't win? Nope. Sable, I just sucked. <laughs> Can we do some relaxing breaths? In, out, in, out. Tell me where to find Hammerhead. I wish I knew. But if we stop punching each other, maybe we can work together. Together? Okay, so Never. let's focus. What did I do wrong here? Wait, have you been listening to Jameson's podcast? Come on. You are supposed to be the protector Ow. of this city. And yet you have allowed this hammerhead to steal all of my weapons and supplies. Ow. I didn't allow Okay, anything. you need to do a double I'm dodge. I'm trying to stop him from stealing your stuff. Then you are failing. Badly. Oh, that hurts. But you're not wrong. Who knows? Perhaps you are secretly working with him. Wow. Now I'm insulted. Ow. I do not know you. Obviously. Damn, she's quick. And I do not trust you. You will stay out of my way or suffer the consequences. Stay out of your way while you do. <sighs> while I find and kill Hammerhead. Good luck with that. He doesn't die so easily. He has not met me. My God. Okay, that's pathetic. That is really... Wow! <laughs> you know, with the Sam, amount of caffeine... Can we do some relaxing breaths? I in, should out, be in, quicker. Out. Tell me where to find Hammerhead. I wish I knew. 
But if we stop punching each other, Ow. we can work together. Together? Never. What did I do wrong here? Wait. Okay, it's a triple dodge. Podcast, you are supposed to be the protector of this city. And yet you have allowed this hammerhead to steal all of my weapons and supplies. I didn't allow anything. I'm trying to stop him from stealing Ow. your stuff. Then you are failing. Badly. Oh, that hurts. But you're not wrong. Who knows? Perhaps you are secretly working with him. Wow. Now I'm insulted. If we go more on the offensive, you. perhaps? Obviously. And I do not trust you. You will stay out of my way or suffer the consequences. It seems yeah, like you can't you do what? a full well, combo. Because then she will so do that. That. And you will take damage. So let's play this a little bit careful. Is that it? I really hope that's it. Because she was really a tough cookie to beat. And I love that hovercraft. It looks like something out of Saints Row. And I think I may have mentioned that before, but... <laughs> wow. Happened that you can thank me by not dying. All right, old friends completed. New suit, and trophy. Hey, MJ. Not so friendly, sort the of. <laughs> I know. New you know suit that? available. Isn't Let's check out the new suit. So I imagine she's here to stop I've always enjoyed checking out shipments. my new suits. But Let's see. Good. Here it is. Maybe you guys can team up. Yeah, that doesn't feel very likely um, at this point. Listen, I'm gonna keep looking into the Simcaria story. It's What's going on going with the legs on this one? Or the feet? Screwball? How did you Quick! Head to Aikman Perlman before me and my Aaron Aikman. Hmm. Oh, what is she up to this time? Better get there before she hurts someone. Is this a screwball challenge again? Okay, let's try out the challenge. We have time, <laughs> and uh, can maybe conclude the episode with this one. Let's see. And uh, I think the screwball challenges overall are probably a bit easier than uh, the Taskmaster. I know I've said that before. But you can stack up points quite quickly by going into those photo bomb sessions, which is a good thing. Season three, examine the streaming equipment. Okay, let's see. Examine. Well, if it isn't my favorite bug theme superhero, ready for season three? Sure. Huge party, huh? Sounds like the perfect opportunity to shut her down once and for all. So There's more challenges. Bomb challenge. Really hope Screwball is at the party IRL. All right. Long time no see. Let's try it. I really need to <laughs> shut this stream down. The first bomb duty. That chick is really nuts. Screwballs fans are out of control. Okay, first we'll make a hard lift. Yeah, that went well. Oh, oh, hot. Uh ah shit. This. Remember, it's ah. 
There we go. Use photobomb targets to get bonus points during screwball challenges. Okay. Score as much points as possible by photobombing when screwball's like meter is full. Activate photobomb by throwing the explosives to the marked target. Ah shit. Bit too quick. We need to gain some ground, gain some height. You are on the right track. You're right by it. Uh Oh, you don't have to do this. You can just break Sir, multiple boxes. Maybe look behind some stuff. Sir. Okay. That's better. Stunning. Uh, shit. <laughs> oh, I really don't like these. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can do a superhero landing and just nail this one. And of course, that was the one where I wasn't supposed to do uh, the ground attack. Yay! Find the last bomb. Yes! That shot is straight fire. What happened? Did I fail? I failed. Okay, one ma one last try before we end this episode. <laughs> <sighs> I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again. It's when you do these challenges you realize that Screwball the controls are aren't control. as tight as you think. But now I have gotten the basic gist of how this works, so it's always hard with these challenges the first time you attempt them. Just do like that. Great. Nailed it! Take this one since this is on ground level and seems to be pretty close. Like so. And failed. That's pretty nice. Let's see, 240 meters, yes. Is this the one that's moving? Yes, it is. I need to follow that truck. So just take him out and mash the square button. Being an old NES player, I am so used to button mashing. Oh, come on. And that should give us enough time to go for the last bomb. Going a lot better this time, at least. Yes! There's the last one. Throw it. Get those likes. Awesome. Good, but I can do better. Spectacular! I'll take it. Hey, MJ. Sorry we got <laughs> cut short earlier. Had to deal with Screwball again. You seem to have a lot of women in your life lately. That's good enough for me, challenging. actually. Except for you, of course. Because huh. those challenges are s really uh, hard. No? And hopefully I don't have to do any more you, uh, during this recording. <laughs> all the right ways. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Okay, I'll keep looking into Hammerhead's plans and I'll call you when I find something... 
challenging. In the meantime, I'll swing around the city and do some spidey stuff. Yes. But that is a quest for another episode. Uh, I want to thank you very much for watching and uh, welcome you to this last part of the DLCs for uh, Spider-Man. And uh, I will see you again in my next video. So until next time, this is the Wolfman signing off.